Hello dear learners, good to see you again. Welcome to another learning session, American English File, second edition, book one, this is part 5C. Now, sun and the city. Look at the photo and answer these questions. Everybody, what city is it? What monument can you see? What's the weather like? Do you think it's typical weather there? Typical, normal. Look at the picture and answer these questions with your partner. You can use Google as well. Okay, if you're ready, let's do it together. So what city is it? Mm -hmm. It's New York City or New York. New York City. What monument can you see? What is the monument, the building? It's the Empire State Building. Now, the third question. What's the weather like? Let's look at the picture. Hmm. Uh, it's, uh, I see some clouds, but the sun is shining. Yeah. So I guess it's sunny. Yeah, indeed, it's sunny. Now, where do you live? Do you have famous monuments in your city? And what's the weather like in your city? Speak with your partner. Well done. Now, the weather and the days. The weather. Complete the chart with words from the list. Cloudy, cold, foggy, hot, snowing, sunny, raining, windy. For example, what's the weather like? Number one, it's sunny. All right, do the rest. It's on you. Mm -hmm. All right, now listen and check. 3.8 1. It's sunny. Mm -hmm. 2. It's hot. 3. It's cloudy. 4. It's raining. 5. It's windy. 6. It's foggy. 7. It's cold. 8. It's snowing. Okay. So, these are your answers. It's hot, it's cloudy, it's raining, it's windy, it's foggy, it's cold, it's snowing. Now, which one is your favorite? Mine, I like summer. I like sunny weather. Not too hot, not too cold, but sunny. All right, very good. Now, other objectives for temperature, warm, a nice temperature, not very hot, all right? The opposite is cool, right? Good. Now, you can cover the chart, ask and answer questions. What's the weather like in Istanbul? Or you can use your phone, search in Google. What's the weather like in New York now? Ask your partner. What's the weather like in Bucharest? What's the weather like in Sofia, Bulgaria, right? Do it with your partner. Good. Now, the four seasons. Now, we have four seasons, everybody. Number one, two, three, four. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Listen and check. 3.9. Three. Spring. Hmm? Two, summer, four, fall, one, winter. Very good. These are the answers. Easy, right? The, the seasons, the four seasons. Good. What's the weather like today? What season is it where you are? Or you can talk about... The other ones, the other cities, New York, Istanbul. All right. Now, listen to a travel guide. A travel guide. Do you go on tours? Yeah. Travel guide. For example, you want to have a tour in Istanbul. Huh? 
or you want to have a tour in Paris, a travel guide helps you. Now listen to a travel guide talking about the weather in where? New York City. Mark the sentences true or false. True means yes, it's okay. False means no, not okay. All right, let's listen first. 3.10 The best thing about the weather in New York City is that it's always changing. In the summer, it's usually hot and sometimes sunny and sometimes cloudy with temperatures of about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, it sometimes rains. In the winter, the temperature is usually between 30 degrees and 40 degrees. It can be windy and cold, but it doesn't snow often. In the spring and in the fall, the weather is very changeable. You can have all the four seasons in one day. It can be sunny or foggy in the morning, cloudy at lunchtime, raining in the afternoon, and then cold and windy in the evening. I always tell tourists to take their sunglasses and their jackets when they go out. Okay, now, if you need, rewind and listen again. Let's do it. Okay, number one, it's never very hot or very cold. False, it's very cold in the winter and very hot in the summer. Number two, the normal temperature in the summer is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. True or false? False. The normal temperature is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Number three, it often snows in the winter. True or false? False. Now, number four, in the spring and, and the fall, the weather changes a lot. That's true. That's okay. Number five, it's often foggy in New York City. False, it's usually only foggy in the spring and fall. Now, what's the weather like where you live in different seasons? For example, I live in Istanbul in winter. Last winter, it snowed three times in Istanbul and in the summer, it's very hot. But hey, it's my city, so I love it. Talk about your city in different seasons. It's on you and your partner. Do it. Well done. Let's move on, shall we? All right. Okay. You have a reading here. What to do in New York City. Number one, two, three. Okay. Now, we're going to read about New York City. Now, where can you, we have some questions, answer them with BP, Bryant Park, CL, the cloisters, uh, or HL, the high line. For example, where can you learn to do something new? Where can you take a walk in the evening? Where can you have a very good view? Okay, let's read it together first. Number one, when it's very cold, go ice skating at Bryant Park. Bryant Park is a beautiful park in Midtown Manhattan behind the New York Public Library on 6th Avenue. In the winter, the area behind the library is made into an ice skating rink. There is a skating school where you can learn, where you can take lessons, and there is a cafe where you can enjoy lunch or dinner after you skate. From October to January, Bryant Park's walking path becomes an outdoor shopping center called the Holiday Shops at Bryant Park. Impressive. Okay, when it's raining, go to Fort Tryon Park and visit the cloisters. You can take a subway or a bus from Midtown Manhattan and visit the cloisters, a part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in Fort Tryon Park in the north of Manhattan. The Cloisters is very popular with adults and children. Adults like the museum because it is full of interesting old art and architecture. Children like this museum because the building looks like a castle. If the sun comes out, walk outside and look at the amazing views of the George Washington Bridge or the New Jersey Palisades across the Hudson River. Hmm, interesting. Now, when the sun is shining, number three, go to the High Line, New York's 
نیوز پارک on the west side of Manhattan between Gansworth Street and the West 34th Street. The High Line is a one-mile public park on all train tracks. The High Line has flower gardens with chairs so you can sit and enjoy the sun. It has beautiful views of the Hudson River and interesting art. It is perfect place for a picnic in the afternoon or a walk in the evening. It's a beautiful place and you can't believe that you're in the middle of a busy city. So, we had the Bryant Park, we had the Cloisters, and we had the High Line. Okay, read it again carefully. So, let's do it. Where can you learn to do something new? BP, Bryant Park. Where can you take a walk in the evening? HL, the High Line. And where can you have a very good view? Of course, the High Line and the Cloisters. Where can you see art? The Cloisters and the High Line. Where can you exercise? Of course, Bryant Park. Where can you do some shopping? Bryant Park. Where can you see a bridge? The Cloisters. And where can you see a very interesting building? The Cloisters, again, because it looks like a castle. Do you remember? Good. Now, I want you to read the text again, underline three words, three new words, and compare them to your partner. You can use your dictionary, you can use the Google Translate in your language, do it. This is on you. Now, talk to your partner. Let's talk. Which of the three places would you prefer to go? The Bryant Park, the Cloisters, or the High Line? Why? Where is a good place to go in your town? Oh, buddy, if you want to talk about Istanbul, I know the place like this, like the palm of my hand. Now, when is it very cold, your town? When is it raining? When it's raining? When the sun is shining? What can you do in these places? What can you do? Right? Talk to your partner. Now. All right. Now, everybody. Jack and his girlfriend, Marisol, are at the top of the rock at the Rockefeller Center. Cover the conversation and listen. Check the places they see. Okay, so listen and check. Rockefeller Center, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Central Park, the Statue of Liberty, Yankee Stadium, Chrysler Building. Let's do it. 3.11 Oh, it's really crowded up here. Let's stand over there. Those people are moving. This is great. Everybody's taking photos, too. Look, that's Central Park. Where? Oh, yes, I can see it. Where's the Brooklyn Bridge? It's over there. And look at Yankee Stadium. A baseball game is on. How do you know? Because the stadium lights are shining. The lights only shine when there's a baseball game on. I love the view of the Hudson River with the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. Me too. Go and stand there. I want to take a photo of you. Okay. Make sure you get the Chrysler Building too. I think it's starting to rain. Oh, yes, look. It's raining. It always rains when we're sightseeing. And it's windy too. Let's go back inside. Quick, the elevator door's opening. Let's go. Okay, very nice. So, what places did they see? Check with your partner. All right. So, they saw the Central Park, the Statue of Liberty, Yankee Stadium, Chrysler Building. Very good. Now, I want you to listen again and put the verbs in the parentheses into the present continuous it starts now and goes into the future oh, simple present something usual that happens all right so listen and fill in the blanks let's go 3.11 oh it's really crowded up here let's stand over there those people are moving this is great. Everybody's taking photos, too. 
Look, that's Central Park. Where? Oh, yes, I can see it. Where's the Brooklyn Bridge? It's over there. And look at Yankee Stadium. A baseball game is on. How do you know? Because the stadium lights are shining. The lights only shine when there's a baseball game on. I love the view of the Hudson River with the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. Me too. Go and stand there. I want to take a photo of you. Okay. Make sure you get the Chrysler Building too. I think it's starting to rain. Oh, yes, look. It's raining. It always rains when we're sightseeing. And it's windy, too. Let's go back inside. Quick, the elevator door's opening. Let's go. Okay. Check with your partner. All right. So, oh, it's really crowded up here. Let's stand over there. Those people are moving. This is great. Everybody is taking photos, too. Look at the Central Park. Where? Oh. Yes, I can see it. Where's the Brooklyn Bridge? It's over there. And look at the Yankee Stadium. A baseball game is on. How do you know? Because the stadium lights are shining. Right now. The lights only shine when there is a baseball game on. I love the view of the Hudson River with the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. Me too. Go and stand there. I want to take a photo of you. Okay, make sure you get the Chrysler building too. I think it's rain. It's starting to rain. Oh, yes. Look, it's raining. It always rains when we're sightseeing. And it's windy too. Let's go back inside. Quick, the elevator door is opening. Let's go. Well done. You did very good. Now, read the conversation again and focus on the verb shine and rain. When do you use simple present and when do you use present continuous? When? When? What time? Simple present. When? Present continuous. Okay. Simple present. Present continuous. Everybody listen and practice. 3.12 My sister works in a bank. Today she's working at home. What do you usually wear to work? What are you wearing now? It rains a lot here in the spring. Look, it's raining. Okay, so, what is the difference? Hmm. So, we use simple present, simple present, to say what we usually do. I go to gym every day. The things that are normally true. For example, the bus comes at 7 o'clock. Say things that are normally true, or things that are usually happening, right? Now, we often use simple present with adverbs and expressions of frequency. I always go to the gym uh, at 9 o'clock. I always eat a good breakfast. I often go to the swimming pool, right? Now, we use present continuous to say what's happening now. Now to the future. I am teaching you English. When? Now. You are watching YouTube. When? Now. Right? We often use the present continuous with right now, today, this week. For example, today, I'm going to the gym. Now, I'm teaching you English. This week, I am recording a new video. Right? Now, what do you do or what are you doing? What do you do? What's your job? I'm a teacher. What are you doing? Now, at the moment, I'm waiting for a friend. So, if I say, what do you do? You say, I'm a teacher. I'm a student. What do you do? What's your job? Again, what do you do? 
what's your job right now let's practice together you know the drill okay so circle the correct form what do you cook or what are you cooking so what are you cooking i'm really hungry the spaghetti we can eat in 10 minutes so he or she is cooking now now Part we put the verbs in the parentheses in the simple present or present continuous. For example, look, it's raining. When? Now. Stop the video and do it. Good. Check with your partner. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it together. Hello, is Martin at home? No. He's playing soccer with his friends. Number two. Do your parents live near here? Yes, they have an apartment in the same building as me. Number three, how often do you go to the hairstylist? About once a month, when I think my hair is too long. Number four, don't make a noise. Your father is sleeping. Is he, is he okay? He doesn't usually sleep in the afternoon nice now hi sarah what are you doing here i'm waiting for a friend let's have lunch do you like hamburgers no sorry i'm a vegetarian i don't eat meat listen the neighbors are having a party again they have a party every weekend what does your husband do he's a teacher he works he works at the local school hi lisa where are you going to the gym i go to gym every evening i go to gym every evening something that usually happens well done you did very good excellent all right so we have a speaking activity here a student a a student b you and your partner ask your partner what do you do what are you doing now are you wearing a watch today do you usually wear a watch what kind of books do you usually read what are you reading now now your partner do your parents work what do they do what do you think they are doing now do you watch a series on tv what TV series are you watching right now? Is it raining now? Does it rain a lot at this time of year? Speak with your partner. Good. Now, pronunciation, everybody. Place names in the New York City are sometimes difficult for visitors to pronounce and to understand. Listen, underline the stressed syllable in the bold words. Okay. 3.13 Central Park The Brooklyn Bridge The Statue of Liberty Ellis Island St. Patrick's Cathedral Rockefeller Center The Hudson River Yankee Stadium Washington Square Park Grand Central Terminal All right, so these are some words that you can practice now Here practice with your partner. Imagine you're in a taxi a Taxi where do you want to go to the central Grand Terminal, please or your city? Where do you want to go? I want to go to Taxim Square if you're in Istanbul, right? very nice now we have a writing. Are you on social networking websites, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Which one is popular in your country? What kind of people use them? Do you or your friends use them? Okay, so we're going to do a writing session here. Social networking, write Facebook posts to say what you are doing on vacation. So write a post. This one's easy. Now. Social networking. June is traveling around the world. 
he writes posts and puts photos from different places on social networking site instagram facebook uh, read his posts and match them to the photos what countries do you think he is in so everybody these are the posts post pictures and these are the posts uh, how to say we can say the comments and everything on the post all right so read and match right okay so the captions let's read the captions i'm standing above niagara falls wow check out my photos all right so niagara falls where is he let's see two okay of course it's a waterfall but it's canada all right next caption i'm sitting on the beach looking at the sunset and watching a game of beach volleyball i have three more days here paradise okay so it's picture number five but which country is it hmm. i would say maybe brazil oh yeah see let's read the caption together i'm on a bullet train going to mount fuji it's really fast 186 miles per hour just like the trains at home haha <laughs> emoji okay train is number three and i guess fast trains where are they japan yeah d i'm having lunch at a little trattoria just mean one minute from the trevin fountain i have three coins ready to throw in but my wish is a secret i guess it's number four yeah and it's italy e i'm watching a cricket match on the park in oxford a very strange sport i think they're stopping to have tea now can you believe it number one and of course cricket england right okay now imagine you're in a vacation i brought right four posts with pictures and captions all right you can even post it on, on your Instagram and tag me, right? If you want, write them on your Instagram, make your post on your Instagram and tag me. You have my account and I will show you my account. All right. Very good. That's it, everybody. Another session done. Make sure to do your writings, do your postings. And you have my Instagram here, Limitless Rouge, just as my YouTube page. Wish you all the best. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.